and welcome to the EdTech Show. I'm Dan Spade, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use Buncee in your classroom. I am super excited for today's episode because today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite tools, Buncee. I've been using Buncee for about a year or so, and I absolutely love any kind of tool that allows kids creative ways to demonstrate their learning. And one of the great things about Buncee is it can be used not only by students, but also by teachers. So teachers can use this to present information in really fun and engaging ways to students. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use Buncee in any classroom. So before we get started, I do just wanna talk about the account types. Um, now I am a Buncee ambassador because I loved the tool so much. I really wanted to get more involved in the community and get ideas from other teachers. So I have a premium account, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to set up one of the free accounts and show you all the tools and stuff that come with the free accounts. So I'm going to create an account here as if I've never been in before. So I'm going to select that I am an education professional. Okay. So we're going to create a new Buncee. And we're going to use Buncee 3.0 because 3.0 has a lot of amazing tools that you will love. Now, once you get into Buncee, it's going to ask you if you want to use one of the templates that they have, or you can start from scratch. So I just want to show you quickly some of the templates. Uh, and again, you can kind of scroll down and see these are all the popular ones that are uh, recently added. These are all holiday themed. You can see which ones you've recently used. And then on the left side, there's all kinds of things. So whether it's awards and recognition, or you wanna create a back to school presentation, and then you can scroll through, uh, there's bookmarks and brochures, business cards, and then it breaks it down also by subject area. So if you're um, in education and you're an English teacher, you can see what they have for English templates. And here's some for like spooky stories or um, make your own Thanksgiving poems. There's math ones. Uh, and again, pretty much for every subject area. And again, there are lots of different templates that are already in here so that you don't even have to start uh, from scratch. You can begin by using something that's already been created and you can customize it for yourself. For today though, we are just gonna create our own from scratch, just so I can show you all of the different tools. Now you'll see this is your front page and you can decide whether you wanna add a custom background or you wanna go with the first item. Let me just show you what the backgrounds are that they have. So there, these are the templates that are already in Buncee. Uh, you can decide whether you want to find a picture from the web. Uh, you can pick just a color. You can upload your own or you can find what's trending. So these are what's popular amongst Buncee users. You can find ones that you've recently used, newly added ones. And then again, just tons of different uh, categories here that will allow you to find something that is, you know, what you're looking for. Uh, we'll just pick, I don't know, let's pick Steam and we'll find a background. This one's kind of cool. So we'll pick this and you can decide whether you want this for just this one page or if you want it for all pages. Now, even though we don't have any pages, uh, if I select all pages, one of the really cool things is when I add a page, it's going to keep that uh, background for me. So I don't have to do it for every page. So it puts it in not only the page you're using, but also future pages. Uh, now, if I wanna add more stuff um, to, my, to my presentation here, I can click on this giant plus sign right in the middle. And again, this is what makes Buncee so great is that it's easy to use for teachers and students. Uh, it's super user-friendly, very intuitive. And here are all of the different things that you can add. So you can add text boxes, shapes, drawings, Buncee 3D, Buncee animation, stickers, messages, emojis. There's web images, 360 images, videos from Khan Academy. Uh, you can do your own uploads. You can import from URL, uh, record video, you can take photos. Again, I believe these are all premium features uh, as well as these, which allows you to add questions. We'll go through all that, but let me show you just a few of these things. So if you wanted to add in text, you can bring, you see it drop the text box right in here and very simple. You can double click and start typing. So I'll just type steam presentation. And you can see at the bottom, there's all sorts of different font tools. You can change the font itself. You can change the text size, uh, italics, underline. You can make lists. So if you wanted to have like one, two, threes or bullet points, uh, you can left align, center, 
right? Justify, copy, duplicate. So lots of text images. Um, I'm just gonna put this right here. And Buncee makes it super easy to move this. So you can put your font uh, and your text box anywhere you want. So we'll just put it right there for now and we'll add more stuff. Now you'll notice on the right hand side here is um, all of our different items and it puts it in layers, which I'll show you in a few minutes. But to add a new layer, you can click right on the plus sign. And now we can add in different shapes. And you can see their basic shapes um, with some cool little pictures like water, trees, hearts. Uh, you can also add in your own drawing. So if I wanted to draw something on here, you can see there's brush sizes, brush colors. Um, you know, I can kind of make my own thing right there. Uh, we can add in 3D images. Now these are kind of cool because they just add, make the presentation look a lot more professional. And you can either search in the search box up here, or you can search on the left, you can see what's trending, or you can find something in the categories um, below. So there's anatomy, animals, fun, geography, geometry, science, technology. We'll pick something from technology. We'll pick one of these drones, right? We're doing a, all of a sudden we're doing a steam presentation. So let's get the drone going in the corner. We can, now you'll notice on the right side too, uh, it's starting to create these layers. So you can see it puts the drone on top. So that would be in front of my text, right? Notice how you can't see part of my text because it's behind. Uh, and that is easy as you can move the layers by clicking and dragging. And now you see my font is on top of the drone. And again, to move any of that, you can just click on it and move. All right, so let's just add a few more things to it. There's Buncee animations. Now this is what lets you take your uh, presentations to a whole new level uh, because they've got these really cool animations and you can preview them by clicking. Now kids love these, whether it's a teacher who's used it in their presentation or the kids using it in there. Um, and again, you can see on the left side, just all the different uh, categories. Let's pick Steam. Let's see what we have in the Steam one. Um, we've got like these boxes that open up and say steam. You've got like all these cool different things. All right, we'll pick this guy here. Let's add him in and you can see he drops the box that opens up and says stem. So we'll put him right here. Cause that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see what else we have. If we add the plus and there are Buncee stickers, Buncee messages, uh, the stickers are pretty much just like little drawings, little almost clip art things that you could click on and add them into your presentation. Uh, let's go into engineering and see what we got since we're doing a steam thing. Uh, so, you know, like we could add in these gears because that looks very cool. It's very steam like put those in the corner. Uh, let's keep adding. We can put in a Buncee message. So you can see there's these really fun fonts and you can see the, like the, the text and the colors just are very vibrant. They add a little extra to your presentation. Uh, we can also add in emojis, which kids really love. And again, these are animated. So you could find ones that fit your presentation. All right, so let's see what else we have. Uh, we can add in web search. So if there was an image we wanted to find on the internet, we could type that in. So we'll type in like technology. Cause I think if I type in STEM, I'll probably get like stems from flowers and steam, I might get steam. So type in technology and you can see there's all kinds of images in here. And if you wanted any of these, you could just click on it, add, and you'll see it adds it right into your presentation for you. Uh, let's see what else. We can also add in 360 images, which are really cool. You can do a search and it'll find 360 images. You can look for videos in Khan Academy. Uh, let's type in math. I don't know, let's see what we get for math in Khan Academy. Um, so you can see there's all kinds of lessons here. So there's like volume word problems and right triangle stuff, all kinds of things, order of operation. Uh, let's just pick intro to order of operations. We'll add that into our presentation too. When you create a Buncee account, it does give you 30 days free of the premium content. So I told you I wouldn't go into those in too great depth, um, but I do want you to be aware that there are all kinds of tools here where you can upload uh, your own files. You can record videos and take pictures from your webcam. Uh, there's also these classroom tools that come with the premium where you can add in free response questions or multiple choice questions. 
so you could create questions embed them right into your presentation and have students answer them uh, so those are tools you can look into if you are interested uh, but i did want to kind of stick to what you get for free because buncee is such an amazing tool uh, that i want you guys to be able to see this video and then bring it right into your classrooms now as i mentioned you can add pages over on the left side and you can you know swap those around very easy by clicking and dragging if you wanted to change the order of your pages and uh, just like you can change the order of the layers on the right side here when you're done you can go up and you can share your Buncy. So we'll just call this EdTech Show. And then it gives you all kinds of different settings. You can decide who can view this, whether they can comment on it, whether they can copy it. There's also code, so you can send a link, but you could also embed it into a website. You can email it. Now, if you create your own classrooms, which is another function, which if you guys are interested, I can make another video showing you that. Um, you can share this with your students and you can just put it right into their classes. There's also an RSVP tool. There's some social stuff that you can share it on, or you can always download your Buncee as a PDF. And you can download that as an entire presentation, or if there was just one or two pages that you wanted, you can select the pages that you want to download. Uh, in some of the settings, you can also decide um, whether you want to use Immersive Reader, which is such a great tool. And the fact that Buncee has incorporated that into that is really amazing. Uh, web accessibilities, uh, the watermarks, grid lines, uh, the TTS, and the stitching. Again, some of these are premium uh, tools, but they are all available in there for you as well. Another great tool here is if you wanted to duplicate this, there's a uh, button at the bottom here that says duplicate page that will allow you to make an exact copy of that page. So if you wanted to use parts of it and not have to start all over, you can make, uh, you can make a copy of that. You can also preview and let's see what our page looks like. I know it's kind of crazy because we just threw a whole bunch of stuff in there. It doesn't necessarily really make sense, uh, but you can see when I click on the Khan Academy video, it's gonna start up and it's gonna begin playing. Now, I know there's not a lot of stuff on there. We can't hear because I don't have the sound on. Uh, but you can see it is playing there. Which is, again, it's just a really great tool to have because it allows you to bring multimedia. You can see all the stuff in here. Uh, what student wouldn't be really engaged in this? And what kid wouldn't love to present their ideas in a fun way like this? One of the really cool things that they have is when you go into the templates uh, for the backgrounds, they have this comic strip background. Now, as a language arts teacher, I always loved having my students do storyboards and they make these really easy to use. So you can create one of these like templates here and have your students create storyboards, whether they're storyboarding stories or um, they're making videos or you want them to just like diagram the most important scenes or however you want to do it. Uh, you can create that and you can see how easy that would be for students to click and drag creating different storyboards. And again, this is a really quick overview of what Buncee can do. Uh, and it can do so much more, but I did want to at least give you a little taste of some of the things that Buncee has to offer. So now if you've watched this and you absolutely love what Buncee can do, but you're kind of sitting there and you're not sure how you can use this, one of the things that Buncee has is this ideas lab. And if you go into the ideas lab, there are all kinds of lesson ideas in here um, and templates that you can just begin to use. So, um, you know, you might not actually use one of these, but it should give you lots of ideas of how you can start using this in your classroom because it is a really amazing tool. So if you want to know more about Buncee, head over to Buncee.com. Check out the Ideas Lab, watch the tutorials, or feel free to reach out to me. I absolutely love working with teachers, especially if it's something that I believe in and a tool that I know their students are going to love. You can reach me on Twitter, at Dan Spada. Uh, you can also reach me on my website, uh, which is danielspada.com, or you can just write any kind of comments or let me know how you've been using Buncee in the comments section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe so that you can get notified of all future videos. Um, and if you know it's the teacher that would absolutely love this video and could use this in their classroom, please feel free to share it. Uh, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.